I, I think like something I that really sticks out about about you that I just wanted to mention is it's like I don't know if you've ever any of you have ever had that experience where you just like hear a hear a person sing or they open their mouth and something so beautiful comes out of their mouth that you're like you can't imagine them doing anything else. Like you're just like this is what you're made to do. You're you it's evident to me that besides just being like such a wonderful human, you are just this vessel for the message that comes out of your mouth and that you deliver to people and in yeah. everything you write. And I think to be um, to be a queer or a trans person or anything and have and be that vessel is so scary and so vulnerable and at the same time is like such a like a like a just hell yes kind of feeling. Yeah. Like it's both of those things like together. <laughs> I have a, uh, I have no uh, connection to. I, this is a no transition song, a completely non sequitur thing, um, which I'm, I'm great at. If there was like a thing you could put on a resume for like person who would like be invited to a party and someone would be talking about like politics and I would be like, you know, I was on a Ferris wheel recently. I, I'm that, I'm that person. And they would be like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, there's a connection in my brain, but it would take too long for me to explain it. <laughs> um, so I got this song called uh, uh, Indie Movie that I wrote uh, a few years ago when um, I was just scrolling through Netflix and just started to notice like the same sort of tropes and patterns and on like the Netflix independent movie section. Um, so I kind of like tried to write a song that was like, I feel like like humor as a thing is often hard to like work into songwriting in a way where it doesn't just come across as like a completely a joke song. So I was trying to balance like humor with also like something that had like a little bit of heart and I, I attempted to do that. Um, and uh, came out with this song, Indie Movie, and I'm just now realizing as I'm saying this, I have, I uh, don't know where my capo is, so we'll figure that out. <laughs> oh, gosh, the mic stand. Oh, is it on, is it literally on the stand? Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah, okay. So I have a capo now. Um, <laughs> We're here for you, man. All right. I have, uh, I also have a song called the Indie Movie. <laughs> that had a sequitur. That was good. That was like not a non sequitur. That was sequitur chocked full of sequiturs. <laughs> uh, that needs to not be doing that. Okay. We'll get there. It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> dimensional female character from this indie movie and I just want to drink beer and be near all of your one dimensional guy friends because I'm attracted to you because you're a struggling artist living with your mom and that kind of turns me on with me down Fifth Avenue in New York City because the skyscrapers fit the cinematography oh yeah hey it's me one-dimensional male character doing caricatures for free in the park when 
When I first saw those eyes, I felt a spark. I took your hand and said, Do you want to get coffee with me? There's a great new place we should try. The coffee is pretty good, but the scones are kind of dry. Couldn't hurt to try it, I'll buy it But you're an independent woman in this indie movie, so Fuck it It's evident I don't say the word fuck very often <laughs> It's not one of my favorite words to say But it fits the rhyme scheme, so we'll keep it that way We can skip the part where we break up Because it'll never make the director's cut Because it'll never make the director's cut yeah. We can skip the part where we break up Because it'll never make Because it'll never make The director